Today we're going to talk about the Schlage BE365 electronic deadbolt. It's one of our favorite basic electronic deadbolts. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. The Schlage BE365 electronic deadbolt was one of the first electronic deadbolts in the market. Now it's not a smart lock. It doesn't have all the features that a smart lock has, which is the ability to monitor it live and change codes on the fly. If you're interested in looking at smart locks, we did several product reviews. I'll put links to those down below, as well as our recommendation on our favorite smart lock of 2020. But this basic electronic deadbolt will give you keyless entry into your home if you just are tired of using keys or you wanna make sure your kids are never locked out. It's a fantastic deadbolt for that. And because it's been out in the marketplace for about five or six years, we've installed hundreds of them. And I can tell you, it does last a long time. It is built very, very well. You can see that it's very heavy duty. It has a shield that goes through the entire uh, bore on the door. So it is a good deadbolt. So we're gonna cover in this video, uh, some basic coding of this deadbolt. And we have another video coming out in a few days that will tell you if you bought a property that has this deadbolt on it, how to reset it back to factory defaults so that you can then put in the codes that you're interested in having in there. Now, because these have been out for a while and the trend is to go towards the smart deadbolts, you can get a screaming deal on these right now if you're looking at getting an affordable electronic deadbolt without any bells and whistles. Let's talk about the basic operation of this deadbolt. It is interesting because you have to manually lock and unlock it. It is not an automatic process. The gaining access is done using the user code, but then you have to manually throw the deadbolt. All of these deadbolts ship with default codes on them. There's a sticker on the inside here. You do have to take it off the door to see that if you're not familiar with it. It gives you the model number as well as the default codes that shipped with the lock. This one of these default codes here is 1737. So when you put in 1737, you get the green indication that the code was accepted, but you then have to manually turn that in order to unlock the deadbolt. That's one of the reasons why this is not a smart lock. It won't automatically lock that deadbolt for you. Once you're out of the home and you're leaving for the day and you want to lock the deadbolt behind you without using a key, you can just press on the little Schlage button, and that will allow you to lock it from outside the home without using a key. And then when you come back, you can just put your code in and get back in the house. So that's the basic operation of this deadbolt. Now with this deadbolt, you may be interested in using your own user codes and not the default ones that were shipped with the deadbolt. So in order to do that, all you need to do is add one of your codes. So first you need to enter the programming code of the deadbolt. Now the programming code also ships um, by default and is located also on this sticker. On this one, it is 689576. It is a six digit code. And if you're going to be doing any code changes, you need to be using that program code. Now you can also change that programming code if you want. If you are moving into a house that already has this deadbolt installed, I would recommend doing that. In addition to the two factory default codes, this deadbolt can take up to 19 total user codes. So let's go ahead and show you how you would add your own user code. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to enter programming mode by putting in the programming code, that's 689576. You'll get three beeps and a glowing orange light to tell you that you are in programming mode. You can hit that orange button and then your lights will light up blue. Now to add a code, you press the number one, which gets you into the add code state. Again, you get the three beeps and now you can enter a four digit user code. I'm just for the purposes of demoing here, going to enter one, two, three, four. Again, I get three orange beeps. I'm going to enter that code again. One, two, three, four. Now I've got the green light, which indicates that that code has been entered into the lock. So let's lock this up and wait for that to go. And then we will try that code out and confirm that that code works. And 
and you have set a new user code. Something else you might want to do is, especially if you've moved into the house and the house uh, already had this lock on it, is you may want to remove those default user codes. Previous owner may have been using those, may have a code to your house, and you want to get those codes out of there. So in order to do that, you're going to go back into programming mode and follow a very similar step. There's just one little change. Let's get back into programming mode. My three beeps, press the slag button, my lights turn blue. Now to remove a code, I'm going to enter the number two instead of one. One was add a code, two is remove a code. Got my three beeps. And now all I need to do is enter the unwanted user code. So I'm going to take out that 1737. And I'm going to enter that again. 1737. I got my green light. The programming was accepted. Remember that 1737 was one of the codes that came with the lock. Let's lock this back up. And let's confirm that that 1737 has been removed. Wrong code indication. Red light, wrong code indication. So I've taken that default code out of the lock. This lock does have a feature called vacation mode. When you enable vacation mode, no user codes will be able to unlock the door. Only the key will do it. Um, this is great if you're going to be away for a while and you wanna make sure that uh, maybe somebody has access, a code to your house, a house cleaner or something, but that you don't want them in while you're gone out of town. So you can turn on vacation mode. And how you do that is you start by entering the program code like everything else. I get my three beeps that let me know that I am in programming mode. And the key that I enter to do enable the vacation mode is hit the Schlage button and the number four, green light. So now I'm in vacation mode. So in vacation mode, the codes that I have, we put in one, two, three, four. Let's make sure that doesn't work. I got the green indication, hey, your code is good, but then I got the red light because I'm in vacation mode, so I cannot access this deadbolt. And that's how vacation mode works. So let's disable the vacation mode. As with all sequences, it starts with the programming code. And then we just hit the Schlage button and I have taken it out of vacation mode and now my code of one, two, three, four should get me access into the lock and it does. So that's a nice little feature to have. A couple other little things that I wanna discuss um, in order to lock this from the outside I've mentioned you press this Schlage button that enables you to lock it outside without a key. That is a feature you can disable if you have any interest in doing that. Um, I like it because you don't wanna carry keys around. That's the whole point of having an electronic deadbolt, but you can turn that off. The next thing I wanna show you is how to change the programming code. Again, if you're not buying this lock brand new and you're, it's on a house that you're moving into, um, you probably do want to do that just to be sure and be safe. Entering the programming code is very similar to the other things that we've done. It's just going to take a different command sequence, but we are going to start with the programming code. Three beeps, it gets me into programming mode. Press the Schlage button, turns the keypad blue. And the command that I do to enter change programming is three. One was add user, two was delete user, and three is change the programming code. So I'm going to enter three. Now I'm going to enter a new programming code. I'm going to enter 654321. It was accepted. I need to enter it again. And now it has confirmed that the programming code uh, has been changed. So in order to verify that we do have a new programming code, let's go ahead and delete that user code 1234 that we had. So we start with the new programming code 654321 gets me into programming mode. Hit the Schlage button, enable my keypad. Two for delete code. And then the code that I want to remove. And enter it again. 
According to the lock, it has been removed. Let's test that. That code is no longer there. So we've verified that we've changed the programming code by going through that sequence to delete a code and make sure that everything works for you. So that's basically how this Schlage BE565 works. I wish you could feel this thing because it has a ton of weight to it. Um, again, we've installed hundreds. Our customers are very happy with these. If you've got a house that has one of these on there, I am going to show you how to reset that, factory reset that in a video in a couple days, and then you can go through the steps that we just discussed in this video for how to program the Schlage electronic deadbolt and get everything set up the way you want it. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. You've been watching Acme Locksmith. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for product reviews and product updates. Thank you for watching.